If any of y'all are wondering why you're closer to my face than you ever wanted, it's because I am determined to have a positive time. <laughs> this is isolation day two and I'm not quite losing my mind but I really want to do something fun because clearly I'm not going out anywhere, I'm not doing anything outside and it's a beautiful day outside. Not to say that I would have actually gone outside today but I mean I would have liked that option um, but I'm determined to have a good time and you know just joke around and do some happy things so today I'm going to attempt an eagle look. I've covered my scar with a plaster so that the makeup will not seep into it and make it even worse and I have all my makeups and I have an outfit picked out so if you would like to tune in to the end of that video to, to the end of this video to just see the look you can do that but if you would like to hang around for the makeup process um, which I know at least some of you find interesting um, you know Come and hang out with me. We'll just call this a girl chat video or whatever. Um, I'm feeling slightly more positive today than I was yesterday and yes I know my face is scary okay like mm, I have darker under eyes because I'm not drinking enough water and I'm not sleeping very well but <sighs> what are we gonna do? <laughs> um, I wish so I love dressing up. This should be no surprise to anybody. And I was actually thinking about doing this kind of look to Dave Con anyways, um, because I wanted to bring like uh, like Western American energy to that event anyway. Uh, but um, as we all know, Dave Con has been shifted to September because of Rona season and uh, I'm still planning to do that, but I don't know if I will, like, I, I would have, like, left that phase already, which would be a shame because I have a hat, you know, like, it would be a shame not to be able to, um, do that. I don't think this foundation matches my skin anymore, but what are we gonna do? Do you, want, do you guys want to see the products that I'm using and do you want me to walk through the steps because I don't know how useful that will be to my mainly male audience for whatever reason. Why are most pe most of you guys male? That's what I'm like confused by. I never quite understood why I have so many men following my channel um, because I always felt like the advice I gave out was mainly aimed towards women. Um, so yeah, what, what is that about? Um, please leave your thoughts and prayers for my skin in the comments. Um, but yeah, I was going to bring pure Western Kesha energy. Kesha from Timber, the music video Timber with Pitbull in it. Uh, I was going to bring pure Kesha energy to DaveCon and I hope that I will still have that phase because I have the whole outfit planned out, I have everything ready, like mm, I really really hope that I haven't gotten bored of that whole aesthetic by then and I don't think I will um, so I will still be able to throw my hat into, into the crowd and someone will be taking it home. You're welcome. Uh, I'm, I hope that I'm the showstopper. I hope that I take all the spotlight away from the actually important guests and like I'm not just a sideshow character that's just funny and like cool. Like I really really hope that I steal everybody's thunder like I did in the last event that I went to. That event was so not about me and yet I feel like I stole everyone's thunder for no reason because I dressed so not for a formal event. Um, thankfully, the video for Shunning um, that we did, the event that we did with CEMB, is finally up now. I posted it to my Twitter. If you're not following me, please follow me. That's where I post all of my things. Um, I'll probably post the link to YouTube, like my YouTube post as well, um, if you really want to see that. Um, I think I did a wonderful job and I might put up some clips uh, either later today or tomorrow. I also hope to 
I don't know how well I'm blending this because I can't actually see. Um, and I like that I'm pretending that I can see, but uh, if I hold a mirror closer to my face, I may be able to see how well I'm blending this. Okay, it looks pretty blended actually. But maybe not this part, but um, yeah. Tomorrow I am gonna do a live stream, but I also really, really, really want to dye my hair. Um, and I have a color picked out, but I'm gonna leave that uh, a surprise. Um, I would, I will need to go shopping to do this, so don't judge me. I'm just trying to have a good time in isolation. Um, and you know, I, I know the protocol. I'm gonna practice social distancing. I'm not gonna cough on anybody. Like, I'll be fine. I'll wash my hands. I'll keep clean. But I just really, really need something to lighten the mood at some point. Okay, so for those of you who are wondering, like, is Faye having a mental breakdown? Like, is she having a midlife crisis? Like, what is going on? Um, I just... So what's happened with me is that my main, like, thing that I consume, like, I don't really watch TV, I don't really watch TV shows. Um, I have a select few shows that I like, like, I like Vikings. Um, I liked Game of Thrones while that was going on. Um, I don't know if my makeup is coming out streaky, but also it's not like I'm going anywhere, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, I don't really watch TV shows or movies because I feel like it's too much commitment and like half the time I don't really know what to expect and then I don't really like like talking about movies to people because I get way too into it and I freak them out. Um, and they're like, dude, it's just a movie. Like, I don't know why you're taking it so fucking seriously. But, um, sorry, what was I talking about? Uh, <laughs> so because I don't really watch movies or like TV shows, I typically just watch YouTube and I don't really have a filter for what I like on YouTube. Like I kind of like everything on YouTube. So for example, I've watched like beauty videos. I've watched, um, uh, I've watched like gaming videos, like my f top two gamers. Uh, well, the gamer that I watch for actual video games is Jacksepticeye. I just love his energy. He's got that chaotic Aquarius yet intelligent energy. Um, I like, uh, who else do I like in the gaming community? I like Markiplier a little bit. Um, not as much as I used to, but he's cool from time to time. I like Game Grumps. I think that conversation entertainment is really funny. Um, and yeah, I've, I've, you know, I pay attention to the gaming community. I love PewDiePie. I know that he's a little controversial. I got told off so many times for liking him because he's like, a lot of people will assert that he's a racist, but, um, I don't think he is. I just straight up, I don't think that he's a racist. Um, just based on, you know, I've been watching him since I was a very young person. I don't think that's him. Um, I know I'm looking a little crazy right now. Let me work through the process, okay? Um, but I also started watching a lot of beauty videos. And when you get into beauty videos, the first thing you notice is that there is a lot of drama within that community. And, you know, there were, I, I didn't want to get involved in that because I feel like I have a lot of my own drama you know, like within the skeptic community with Muslims and ex-Muslims, like I don't need that in my life. I have enough drama to to deal with. And honestly, it feels like a rabbit hole. Anytime I get involved with like internet drama, it just, it just starts growing and it won't stop. And I don't know what to do with any of it. So I was looking up like fun uh, makeup looks and I saw this ego look that Jenna Marbles did. And Jenna Marbles is one of my favorite YouTubers. She's like my favorite YouTuber of all time. Like I aspire to be her, not just in a YouTube, in, bleh, in, in a YouTube sense, but also just like as a person. I think she's such a well-grounded, like good human being that I just want to become her. Like she's so cool and I love her. Um, but she did an e-girl tutorial and I just, like, I fell in love. Um, also, the reason why I fell in love with dyeing my hair is because of her, because I think just, she's just so cool and she just, you know, she just does stuff and she just lives her life. And that's what I aspire to be, ultimately, is just for me to be able to live my life and be a creative person without 
any judgment or being told what to do like that's very much my deal so yeah i saw her do this look and i don't really fully understand what an e-girl is i have some friends who are e-girls or in quotation marks e-girls i don't know um but they like like that aesthetic um and what i've seen is that it's like this really cute um like fun uh young looking kind of sick looking um like sick as an ill looking style which feels like it's perfect for rona season um so yeah i think that's my base down and looking pretty ghastly in the camera so that's great um i'm gonna set this all with powder i don't know how this is gonna treat my skin because your girl doesn't like wearing a lot of foundation. I also thought about doing um, a video because there was a trend going around in the beauty community a couple of years ago about how I used to do my makeup and it could be like really fun because uh, as someone who covered their face and covered a lot of their body throughout their teenage years, I feel like that would be a really funny video to do. Like just um, explain to you how I used to do anything uh, in that. Uh, I think that it would be a really fun video and if you would like a video like that please do leave a comment down below because I will make it like where am I going that I can't do seven makeup looks you know um, I might get need to get some props or like ma make some props because I no longer have like I have like a scarf but I don't have a hijab or a niqab or anything like that but I want to like show to you the level that I used to go and what I would look like and some of those looks are absolutely ridiculous so yeah I think at least to a mediocre degree my makeup is set um, and we can start going with some other stuff but I, the, the, the thing that really holds this look together is the blush so I'm gonna leave that for lost um we're gonna do an eye look first because i love doing eye looks um there was a phase in my life where i absolutely hated makeup because i didn't know how it worked and i also wasn't allowed to know how it worked uh and like now that i'm into it like i love it i think it's so like fun and creative i can't see anything where is my brush there it is um I think it's so fun and creative and I love it. I think it's so cute and like there, there really is no harm to it unless like you convince yourself that it's something that you need to do. Um, I think that that can be in, in some way damaging to one's self-image and self-esteem and all of that. But I think that on the whole, for me, I think that it's really opened a lot of like avenues for me because I, I really, really enjoy it. But I'm not entirely sure what colors to go into, but pink feels like the main color of like this e-girl style. So because there's going to be a lot of pink going on, I might try a different selection of colors, even though I do enjoy pink as a like as an eyeshadow color. I think I'm going to go into this green here. Um, and I'm going to put that in my crease uh, and I'll find a transition shade to use. But I love this green. I put this green on Saf for our event and it was gorgeous. It was beautiful and she looked amazing. You, need, you guys need to see that video. I'm going to try and link it in the description below and I'll also make a post about it so that you guys can catch it. It's about, so our talk lasts about an hour, I think um and yeah i thought i did an amazing job and please do tell me what you what you think about how i did um because i would love some feedback also i'm very very appreciative of uh people who traveled um from miles and miles away to come and see me i met someone at the event who had traveled such a long distance to come and see me and i was so flattered and so amazed super awkward but i mean that's just me like <laughs> that's just me as a person and i was super super just fun and happy and we had an argument about henry the eighth which i will make a video about um it's on the list i set up some boards to do some educational videos well educational like unfiltered education um but yeah okay so that's the green crease i mean it's looking gorgeous um i might try a lighter shade to transition to so um 
I think maybe we'll we'll probably transition with this like light color and then we'll put this beautiful shade on on my lids um, for those of you who do not know what I'm talking about don't worry about it it's it's just makeup um, also like I don't I the way that I learned makeup is like by just watching tutorials like I never actually followed one because I I always felt like um, some of the tutorials were either too hard to just follow and I'm typically not someone who's very good at following instructions given in a video like I've never been someone who's good at that uh, I've always been good at just observing at like observing someone doing something and then imitating it um, and you know making it my own that's what I've always been good at so I used to watch a ton of makeup videos uh, but it was never like instructional it was just me trying to observe shit and and like trying to um, mimic it and make it my own so now we have that gorgeous gold color all over our lids I'm gonna have to put some makeup in my eyebrows as well because the foundation has really muted it I don't know if this color is working by the way like do you like this is this good leave your comments down below and if it's awful let me know and uh, I'll keep that in mind for next time is that some of y'all are really not into some of my makeup looks also this palette is absolutely gorgeous and I'm so grateful to my good friend uh, who bought it for me for my birthday um, I don't know if I was meant to put makeup palettes on my birthday wish list, which I think is still linked down below, but I mean, I'm really glad that I got a makeup palette for my birthday because I do really, really enjoy it. So we got both our eyes did, and they're looking snatched. Uh, and I'm gonna put just a little bit of highlighter or one of these shades. I think I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna put it in my inner corners. I feel my headband slipping off my head because my hair, I washed my hair yesterday and it's like super clean right now. So it's just like everything is slipping <laughs> from my head. Um, just gonna underline my other eye just a little bit. Okay, so I asked one of my like friends who uh, kind of does the ego look a fair bit about like what I should include because I told her I'm doing like a tutorial video, which this isn't a tutorial, this is just me messing around with some makeup and being very, very close to the camera, like, you know. Um, and I asked her, like, what what should I do? What do e-girls do that I need to keep in mind? Because I've never done something like this. Like, I really don't have a set style, so I end up mixing styles a lot. Um, I am just going to throw some eyeshadow into my eyebrows uh, because I don't feel like my eyebrows are defined enough. And she said that I need to make sure that I do... Uh, blush everywhere and we'll do that after I do my eyebrows uh, and my eyeliner and she said the liner has to be super long and thick so that's what we're gonna do also want to find some cute music to put in the background of this video I might use some of dumb baby's work because his work is amazing and I'll link whatever song I use in the description or in a card above or in the description below um, eyeliner. Um, we are going to use L'Oreal Perfect Slim uh, by Superliner. Um, and we're going to do a thick winged liner. Trying really hard to concentrate, I'm sorry. What do you think? Good? Good liner? I think it's a good liner. Just gonna give this a shake. I might need to get a new liner very soon. But, I mean, we're in the middle of a pandemic. We gotta make do with what we got. Also, I think all videos that mention 
the virus are being immediately demonetized which isn't helping with my financial situation um but i mean like the last one got almost immediately demonetized um so uh, apparently i'm not allowed to talk about it but when has your girl cared what she talks about um i'm just gonna underline uh just line my water line so the water line is this part in your eye just underneath so i'm gonna line that i don't know exactly how to do that without stretching my eye yeah I'm, i might fast forward that part so that you don't have to sit in silence while i line my eyes um i don't know how long this video is gonna be but i'm here to hang out with you guys because through this difficult time i feel like we need as much positivity as we can get but now now that we've done our eyes uh we are finally ready for some blush i'm just gonna wipe my foundation off on my hand because i don't have any other brushes and i need to get new ones actually we'll throw some mascara in here like why the fuck not <laughs> Um, I might actually post some thirst traps after this because why waste this look, you know? I know it's going in a video and it's entertaining hundreds, but why waste this look? I might as well post some not so subtle pictures on Instagram with this look afterwards. But yeah, okay, eyes are done, uh, again and we are gonna go for some blush uh i don't have any liquid blush like all those other beauty youtubers like i don't get money for this shit but i'm just gonna go ahead and start packing on packing on the blush oh yes yes this is what i wanted <laughs> i love how this cake is cut and i'm using a sleek uh what is it like a bronze and highlight and it's called the face form contouring and blush palette by sleek makeup i will tag them in my instagram test posts uh but i don't know is this blush coming out as like super red but not only do they put it on like their cheeks these eagles they also like throw it over their nose like they make their nose look hella blush so that's what i'm gonna do and this doesn't usually work on like my skin without foundation so i had to throw on some foundation today so y'all are getting like some true commitment today because your girl doesn't wear a lot of foundation it's not good for her skin and i want to keep like my skin as clear as possible because i like i like getting compliments on my skin um i don't know if i'm looking like a cheap hooker right now but you know what i don't care um gonna throw some in my like mix it with my eyeshadow put some on my upper lip and just under my lip um a lot of e-girls that i've seen they also like throw some fake freckles on but i don't know how to do that i'm gonna try and if it fails i'm gonna cry <laughs> because now we're too far in to go back you know um but like am i looking blushed as hell am i looking just super sick um with my red nose uh i also have another blush Let's see if i can over blush like if i can make this mildly unacceptable um not mildly wildly unacceptable i have another blush by soap and glory it's at first blush um i love soap and glory i've said this in so many videos i love all of their products i love their marketing schemes i love everything about them bitch like they are the best uh i use their eyeliner 
I use all of their like bathroom products and toiletries. They are the best. Every year at Christmas time, I buy their Christmas tin because I think that they just make the best products for my skin. Like they genuinely do. My, you know, my face wash is by them. My body wash is by them. My everything. My blush is by them. You know, like I love them. I think they're great. Um, now I'm gonna throw on some highlight and just before I do my lips, wait, should I put my freckles on now? I think I should put my freckles on now. Um, I'm gonna put on my glasses and so, just so that I know where my freckles are going. Uh, put my lid on my foundation before it leaks all over my fucking bed and makes a mess. Um, okay so i don't know how to do this and i'm oh this is <laughs> this is very pink very pinky pink i like it <gasps> no i just dug my nail into my highlighter <sighs> don't get all over my bed get on the floor I'll vacuum your lighter. i'm so sorry um i just made a dent it always happens it always happens to me but i'm gonna try and put some freckles just dot some freckles I don't know if it's working. Oh, my skin is definitely gonna break out after this. Is that too much? I don't know. I can't tell. And I don't have the capacity to stop right now. Oh, this is gonna give me blackheads. Am I ruining it? I did such a good job, am I ruining it? It's too dark. It's too dark, isn't it? Should I stop? I'm not gonna stop, but I mean, it was worth asking and getting your opinion through the screen well after I have uploaded the video. I can probably mute it a little bit. Like, it's not gonna be crazy for me to just throw some more blush onto this. Like, look at me now. Like, <laughs> the nose looks awful. The nose looks way too dark because where I put it on my plaster is so much darker than the rest of my skin. Okay, I should stop. Like, this is too much. <laughs> I'm having so much fucking fun though. Oh no, I've like created a hot mess here. Like, never again. I'm so sorry I did that to you. You're a really good eyeliner. Um, I need a tissue. <laughs> I'll just wipe it on my shirt. This shirt needs cleaning anyway. Um, yeah, this isn't the shirt that I was gonna wear with this outfit, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but I am gonna blend this, <laughs> blend this uh, with some uh, powder. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I feel like I've ruined it. I feel like I have ruined it. I have to put on my glasses to see the full extent of the damage, but like, we'll see. Yeah, this, my nose is looking too much. Oh, I've ruined it. Should I stop and come back? <laughs> like, do I need to wipe this off? <gasps> no, I don't want to. <laughs> I've ruined it. <laughs> but do I regret it? Not really. <laughs> um, should I just finish this look? and then just end it with the, like, you get the gist of the look. It's just cute with blush and freckles, but this is too much, clearly. Cl too much with the freckles, like, I don't know really what to do, but I mean, we're this far in now and we're not going back because I've already decided we're not going back. Um, we might tone down the freckles later for our photo shoot, but I mean, We'll just hide it behind Fenty. This is Fenty's kilowatt in Gold Digger. And this shit goes on forever, bitch. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to throw some shades on to put my lip gloss on. But I mean, <laughs> these freckles are too much. I mean, this side isn't too bad, but this side, <laughs> I ruined it. <laughs> um, so what my 
ego friend said about uh, lip gloss and doing my lips is that they have to be two-tone. So we're gonna try and do that today. Even though these freckles kind of ruined the look. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with purple. I wanna show you how to do two-tone on dry, crusty ass lips. Can you see that? I'm not one of these beauty gurus that gets f shit for free, okay? Like, can't you tell? I'm not that talented. <laughs> I just came here to have some fun and freckles ruined the fun for me. Okay, so that's the first tone. And I think on the inner, we're gonna throw some of this. This is by Sleek as well, and it's Matte Me in uh, Matte Me Metallic, and it's a matte metallic lip cream. Oh, these freckles are pissing me off. <laughs> there we got a two-toned lip look and now for the final reveal i'm gonna go ahead and put my outfit on and yeah i'll leave it a surprise okay i will be back in just a second what do you think <laughs> i love this look maybe not so much this side because i ruined it but i mean Do I not look like an ego? Like, do I not look like I'm just out here playing esports? But yeah, um, <laughs> for those of you who are worried that I just died and cut my hair, no, 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 this is a wig. Like, you can tell it's a wig. But like, do I not look like I am ready to have a good time? I really, really hope. <laughs> That you had a good time with me today and i'm not freaking you out um i genuinely i just wanted to do a makeup look because i feel like we need some positivity right now and i'm not one for forcing positivity but i feel as though in these difficult times where everyone is stressed out about money about not being able to go outside and see their friends and do things the, the things that they want to do and you know the fear of dying from a deadly virus um I, I thought that we could just use some makeup and some fun and you know I do do these videos from time to time and honestly honestly they're a lot of fun to not only do but also edit because I mean I'm just the most hilarious person that you've ever come across <laughs> um but yeah tell me what you think rate my look out of 10 and yeah it's been a while since we've seen Jeffrey on camera my fur coat's called Jeffrey um, but yeah, if you like this video, please do consider subscribing, please do consider liking, sharing, all that good shit. And you know, if you hated this video, smash that dislike button, leave your hate comments below, we welcome them here. Um, and if you would like to support me in a monetary way, but you are in no way obligated to do so, um, you can support me at my PayPal or my Patreon, you can buy some merch, get a good t-shirt out of the deal or you could just follow me on all my social media accounts. Everything is lim linked. This facade is not staying up. The everything is linked down below in the description and I will see you tomorrow for a live stream, maybe a video, we'll see. Uh, probably a live stream and I really, really wanna dye my hair so you might also get a video and also I need to cut up my parts from my event so you might get more than one video. So we'll see, I don't know, this is bringing out an attitude in me even though I did this side so dirty um but yeah i will see you in the next video thank you for joining me and goodbye <laughs>